everyone, Michelle DiPetrillo here, hospital liaison from Centers Healthcare, wishing you all very happy holidays. I thought it would be fun, since the holiday is here, to share with you one of my favorite easy appetizers, my hot brie bites. So some of the ingredients, and it's very minimal ingredients as you can see, are mini brie bites. I'm gonna use these because my market was out of the regular size brie, which was an eight ounce wheel of brie that I would normally use, but these work great as well. I actually had to use these at Thanksgiving because they were out of the wheels then too. So what you're gonna do is each mini brie bite, you cut into four pieces, and I'll show you that in a little bit. We've got some flour that we're gonna use just to put on the island before I roll out my crescent dough. I've got some fresh rosemary, just to add a little pretty kind of look to it. I've got prosciutto, red pepper jelly, which is one of my favorites. I prefer to use the red pepper jelly. If you don't like red pepper jelly, you can feel free to use fig jam. You can feel free to use really any jam you like. Even um, the jellied whole cranberries, you could use that. I've got some cooking spray to make sure that our mini muffin tin, it doesn't stick to it. So this is a 24, um, you can see 24 little mini muffins is what it would hold. So it's gonna hold 24 bites. Salt and pepper. And I like my pizza cutter to use for the dough. It makes those 24 bites nice and easy to cut out. So I'm gonna show you step by step how we're gonna do this. So I just set my oven to 375. Now while that's heating up, I'm gonna prepare the bites. So as you can see, I put my flour, I sprinkled a little bit onto my island. Now I'm gonna take my cooking spray, give it a little shake. I'm just gonna give these a little tiny spray to each little muffin tin. Not too much, just a quick little one. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna take my dough sheet and I'm gonna open it up. I'm sure many people, whoop, this one popped and I didn't even need to use a spoon. So I'm gonna pop this open. It startled me a little when that happened. <laughs> Put this off to the side. And I'm gonna find the area where I can open this up. There we go. To turn it into a nice sheet. Now I'm gonna put this right onto my dough. Not right onto my dough, right onto my flour. And I'm actually just gonna use my fingertips to kind of stretch it out. Kind of make some of the areas that are a little thicker, push them in. I'm not gonna film this whole thing while I'm doing this part of it, but I'm sure you can get the idea. You wanna stretch it out kind of as much as you can without ripping it. And if there's spots that are ripped, kind of just piece those back together a little by pinching them together. Now I'm gonna cut my dough into 24 little pieces. So the way I like to start is I actually go right down the middle, and then I'm gonna go right down the middle again on this side, kind of forming four boxes. Now that those boxes are formed, I'm gonna go this way and cut each side into two long strips. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take each one of these sides and I'm gonna cut two and then two because we want 24 little pieces. to make them as even as you can, but if it's not perfectly even, no big deal. Some pieces are a little bigger than the others, but it is what it is. <laughs> so now we've got 24 little tiny square pieces. Now I'm gonna take these and start putting them into my muffin tin. So it's pretty easy, you just grab a little piece, kind of stick it in the tin. I like to smoosh it in a little bit to make the corners kind of stick up if I can. are sticking out a little. There we go, and I'm gonna go right down the line for the entire tin. Now that our muffin tin is prepped, we're going to prepare the brie, which is really just cutting each one of these into little four pieces. I took my prosciutto out of the package. It was a package like this, it's three ounces. Um, so I'll put this one back in the fridge, but for this one, I'm gonna take the pieces and I'm gonna break them up. I don't cut it, I use my hands to just stick little pieces at the bottom. Um, and then we're gonna cut these into four. So I'm gonna start with the prosciutto and just kind of rip off little pieces. You don't need a lot a little into each bottom piece here. 
just shove it in the bottom. Oh, don't all the now that that's done and all of my fruit is in the bottom, I'm going to take my mini breeze, open them up, plop them out, pull them out. <laughs> Really, you only need six of them because remember, we're cutting them into four pieces. I'm going to take that go right down the middle. And right there. And I'm going to do that with the remaining pieces. And once that's done, we're going to take each one. And I like to put the inner side up in my cup, so like the pointy part up. And I'm going to do the same with the rest of these and I'll show you what we do after that. Now that the brie has been added to the mini bites, it's time for the pepper jelly. So I'm just gonna kind of stir this up a little. This is actually the same jar I used the last time I made these. So you don't need a full jar, a half does pretty good. And you're not gonna use a ton of pepper jelly in each bite, it's just a little bit. Probably like a teaspoon maybe I would say. Or if you want a little more, a teaspoon and a half too much. So I'm just going to go down the line and add a Now that the pepper jelly is on all of our mini bites, I'm now gonna do the last few steps before we put them in the oven. So I'm just gonna take my pepper, automatic pepper grinder and salt grinder for Bobby's mom. Thanks, mom. They work great. Just like a little spritz. And do the same thing, pink Himalayan sea salt. Doesn't really matter what kind of salt. And then I've got my rosemary. So now with this, um, I don't like to cut the whole sprig and like put a big piece in there because rosemary is not, it, it's, a, it's a pretty potent flavor. So what I like to do is I like to just take one little sprig and just sit it right on the top. I know that might seem kind of silly, but I think it makes it look pretty. If you wanted, you could do two, like maybe do a little crisscross with it, um, but I just do one. Just gonna go down the line and add a sprig onto each little come out too good. No add an extra one on that one. Now that I've got a little piece of rosemary on every single brie bite, they're ready to go in the oven. So I'm going to bake these at 375 for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I always like to take a look and make sure that the cheese looks nice and melty and that the sides, see like the little pastry sides have puffed up a little and they're starting to get a little golden brown. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and we'll be back when they're done. And as you can see, they look pretty done to me. So I just pulled my brie bites out of the oven and this is what they look like in the pan. You can see that they're nice and golden brown and they've puffed up a bit on the sides. Some of the jam kind of <laughs> um, float, flows out onto the pan, but that's all right. There's still plenty in there. Um, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna plate these and I'll be right back. And these are my finished hot brie bites. I've plated them onto a red plate with a festive garnish of some rosemary around it, wrapping around kind of like a wreath. Um, as you can see, they're nice and browned on the edges there. They smell delicious. Excited to serve these to some friends. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm wishing you all the happiest of holidays and a very healthy, prosperous new year. Hope to see you all soon. Bon appetit.